Well, again, we are factoring by grouping. Okay. So again, when we do this, we want to group them together in a way they make sense. Now here, when I have different exponents, I like to start with the one with the highest exponent. So I would probably say, I'm going to take the 8w squared, and then I'm going to look at my list and say, which one has the most in common with the 8w squared? 16w. The plus 16w. And those are the two I'm going to start with, just so I have a place to start. So we start with the one with the highest exponent, just like we did on those first ones that were in the right order. <laughs> so out of my 8w squared and my 16w, I can divide them both by 8w. W. And so if I divide out the 8w, I would get w, w plus 2 plus 2. w plus 2. So again, when I'm writing down the other two terms, I look to see what I want to have first. I want the one with the w first. So I'm going to have the minus wx and the minus 2x. And then I'm going to say, what do I need to divide the minus wx by to get a positive w? A negative w. A negative, not the negative w, but x. the x, the negative x. You can see they both have an x in common here. <laughs> So, negative divided by a negative is going to leave me the positive w. Negative divided by a negative is going to leave me a positive 2. So, my common factor is the w plus 2. My other factor, the 8w minus x. And again, I could FOIL that out if I really wanted to check my work. <laughs> 11 must be on. I get lost when my board keeps moving on me. All right, so number 11, if you look at that list, which pair should I probably start with? Negative 7u squared and the 21u. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> so out of those two terms, I can divide them both by 7u squared. No u. Just a u. 7u. So if I take negative 7u squared and I divide it by 7u, I get u. not just u, but negative u. Negative u. And if I take 21u divided by 7u, I get plus 3. So, of those other two terms, which one should I write down first? The negative uv. Negative uv plus 3v. So, if I have a negative uv and I want to get negative u, what should I divide out? V. Just the v, and it's going to be positive because I don't want my sign to change. So if I divide them both by a positive v, I'm going to get a negative u, a negative u plus, three. plus 3, which is what I'm supposed to get, right? <laughs> so my common factor is the negative u plus 3. My other factor would be 7u plus v, exactly. Number 12, still factoring by grouping. Which two should I group together to start with? Negative 3u squared and negative 6u. I don't know if it's going to be a negative or positive. Since both of these are negative, it's best to do the negative. So, negative 3u. So, if I take negative 3u squared divided by negative 3u, I'm going to get u. a u. And if I take a negative 6u divided by a negative 3u, I get positive 2. Positive 2. So, that's about the only time I take the negative out first is if they're both negative. Of my other two terms, which order should I write them down? 
positive ux, and then the positive 2x. So if I have a positive ux and I want to get a u, I'm going to take out positive x. And so I'm going to get u plus 2. So my factors. And again, if you weren't sure you did it right, you can always foil it out and check to see if you get your terms that you're supposed to get. And all your signs are right and all that good stuff.